thank the mayor for being nice enough to let us come into the town. Very welcoming. Alright, now here's a quick cool story. In the fifth grade I sung a song called I'm from the country and I like it that way. Well, little did I know 15 years later I'd be working with the songwriter. Yeah. So that's pretty amazing. <laughs> I told him, I said I look bigger in person. So. I would like to have the actors step out here for a minute, if you guys could give them a round of hand here. All right, now, after the video, when the show's over, be sure to check out the merchandise booth up there. It's 22 minutes of the director's cut. That's behind the scenes, hanging out uh, at Marty's house, all the interviews, everything that you want to see is on there. And there's only like 500 made. So get them tonight. Have Marty sign them, and we appreciate everything that you guys have done, and thank you so much for the support. Marty, you have anything? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about this little stick of dynamite right here, huh? Glass, Glasgow Road. Well, uh, it sure is good to be here, be back here in Glasgow, Kentucky, and uh, it's just, it's just great to see everybody, and uh, it's, it really is, and. Uh, you know, when you sit down and you write a song, I wrote Whatever Makes You Smile for the sweetest woman that I've ever met beside my mother and my sisters, okay? <laughs> and her, her name is Shelly Brown, and uh, she's still not feeling well, well tonight. I'm really concerned about her, but she'll be all right. Um, and her name is Shelly Brown. I like to bring lights up and feature my wife, because she's in the video, too. And I don't know where she's at, but... Uh, She's really the reason why I'm here on this stage. There she is, way up there. I love you, Shelly. And uh, I love all of y'all for coming out. And, well, I wrote the song. It, you know, some songs, they take a while for you to write, and some songs come quick. Well, whatever makes you smile, come quick. I come up with the first lines about, uh, like the Tin Man, the Lion, and the Scarecrow. I'll follow you down life's golden road, and that's how I feel, feel about Shelly, and, and it was off to the races, man, it took about 15 minutes to write that thing, and, uh, well, I put it out, we come off America's Got Talent, and we put it on iTunes, and it's, it's been in five-star status since we've had it out, I think, it, it's, thank you all very much for, for that, that's my first song I've ever had on iTunes, so, it's, it's, I, you know, we're watching those stars in that meter, and uh, I'd like to thank everybody for liking my uh, fan page and follow me on Twitter, Marty Brown USA, Marty Brown fan page, click the like. But, and that's how this little stick of dynamite found me. Well, he downloaded Whatever Makes You Smile and he liked it. And of course, he was, we had a connection with I'm From The Country. And I've got another Glasgow connection here too. My co-writer on I'm From The Country is Richard Young of the Kentucky Headhunters. He's from Glasgow, Kentucky. So we wrote, we wrote I'm From The Country together, and uh, well, that's how Kevin found me, is through Facebook. Uh, he Facebooked me and uh, said, uh, Would you, well, you know, uh, do you think we can do a video? Well, he didn't know how, how creative a person I was, I don't think. He hooked on about a 20-pound bass, didn't you? <laughs> you threw your line in the deep water. And we just, we went on a trip. I said, now look, I said, where I'm at in my career, I want to do great things and leave something great behind. If we're going to make it, it's going to be great. And I really think we did. If you had seen how we put this video together, it was classic. That's what we should have filmed right there. It was, it was great. Two country boys getting it done. <laughs> well, the first, like I said, we come to Glasgow. We both agreed that uh, whatever makes you smile is about it could be about the love of a husband for his wife, or a father for his son, a mother for his daughter, vice versa. It's just doing something, going the extra mile and doing something for the, anybody that you love, whether it's a grandmother that you love. It's just going there and being there. And so we thought, what greater tribute but the fireman? The fireman. The fireman, 24 
24 7 seven days a week they got to be on call and here the, here's two of them right here the real firefighters and uh, well kevin being from glasgow he was having a little bit of trouble pulling that off i said well let me meet you in glasgow and we're gonna go find the mayor <laughs> and uh, i went to the mayor's office and i went in there and next thing i know we tracked her down and we met at the fire hall, a beautiful fire hall with the big glass garage windows, the sun's coming in perfect, clean as a pen, the perfect place to shoot this video. Well, they agreed to let me use, th they're so nice, they opened up their doors, but I had to eat banana pudding with the mayor and the fire chief to get to use the fire hall. <laughs> That's how they treat you in Glasgow. But we did it, we ate banana pudding, we had a good time, we didn't sign a contract, we just did it. And at first the mayor thought, well, hmm, country music, the drinking and smoking, or, that's what you thought. <laughs> and we were like, we want to make it great. And uh, did we make it great? You say a little something. Um, well, what he, what he was referring to is I said, as long as you don't have a drink or a cigarette in your hand, I don't, you know, we're going to open our doors to you. And he assured me that they weren't going to do that. But part of my job as mayor is to show to the world and to the state and to the community what a great place Glasgow is. And when you have somebody like him walking in, uh, uh, you know, literally unexpected and wants to promote the city of Glasgow by way of the fire department, uh, I just had to say yes. So very pleased to do that and so thank you. Well, I'd like to... You know, I want them to say something, and then we're going to get on with the show. But we couldn't have had it. Well, we did that. You know, we ate banana pudding. We got permission. And then we got permission from the hospital. And we, I, I wrote a treatment with Kevin. We come up with the treatment. And uh, they had actors. And they're also locals of Glasgow. First one I'm going to introduce, this is the next Brad Pitt right here. Didn't he do good? Where's your little fire hat at? Come here. Say a little something to him. Uh, okay. Girls, look out. All right, and this is his mama right here. Come on in here. My name is Ashley Emmett, and I'm very grateful for Marty. We've got an awesome opportunity, so I'm very proud of him. I'm proud of y'all. Thank you. Now, they, uh, both of you together. Now this is a real firefighter right here. He's Glasgow's on. This is Ryan. This is, and they are really married. Take your glasses off, Bill. Right I didn't have glasses on. <laughs> uh, we're just really honored to be able to be in this video. Um, just really honored that Kevin and Marty allowed us to do this, and we had fall a puppy. You said think about the little kittens and puppies without food. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, no, come here. Now, this is my Rocky Balboa. Come here. I'll do the talking. This right here, 24 7, 7 days a week. He's a real fireman. You know, of course, it had the woman's, the mother's love for the child. And she's suffering with him through the hospital. And then the idea I had with the real fireman here. You know, he's having to fight fires and save lives every day. Through the frustration, fighting the fires, pumping weights. They had this killer weight room in this fire department. Look, I got something to say though. When we first went there, the fire truck up front was beautiful. And I went back to that locker room. They had them old weights and stuff. It, it was great. It, it smelled like a man. You know? It smelled like Rocky Balboa. It had, the, it had the lockers and the clothes on the locker. And I said, man, this is great, Kevin. This is great. Well, we, the day of the shoot, we come back. They had cleaned it up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, it ain't got that funk anymore. <laughs> so we had, to, we had to mess it up a little bit. And, uh, and uh, I remember he was pumping the weights. And uh, I told him, I said, now, just pump them weights, man. I'm just sitting there just pumping. What does she have on there, kid? 500. 500. <laughs> Here's the thing, and he's going, just doing this, and I told him, like it's nothing, I'm like, man, I said, you, you, you know, you're struggling, man, but he's not, he's going like, I said, well, grunt or do something, man, and make it look like you're really trying, you're pretty stout, dude, where you work out there, are you going to say something? 
Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there he is. One more right here. Now this one right here, he's the one that got the hair. Oh, okay. Now he's got a hey. You know what? There's a good shot above shot with you on. Uh, uh, I had Kevin climb up on top of the fire truck. Say something to him. This right here is the fire chief. He's a hero. You know, it's not uh, many times you get a chance to shoot a video, and uh, we was we was really honored. Uh, it was really fun. I have to say, uh, you've obviously got a lot of country in you. Uh, he uh, <laughs> come sit down and. Uh, uh, eat banana pudding with us and just like one of the guys. So uh, and it was good. <laughs> it was good. Barry Dunbar did well. So uh, it was really fun and we enjoyed having Marty down. Welcome anytime, buddy. Thank you so much. Y'all ready to watch this thing? All right, we're going on the big screen. Right, guys? As Marty mentioned earlier, you can get that song on iTunes.